and I'm here at the Saskatoon Public Library in Saskatoon on Treaty 6 land and the traditional homeland of the Métis. We are all treaty people. And because I'm in the story room here and there's no one else in the room with me, I'm going to take my mask off to make it a little easier for us to talk and share this activity. What we're going to be making today is a rain gauge, which hopefully we're going to get some good use out of this spring. We'll get lots of great rain to get everything nice and green and our gardens growing. So you need a few things to be able to make this rain gauge. You're going to need a clear plastic bottle of some kind. You need some gravel. You're going to need some kind of Play-Doh or plasticine, a ruler to measure with, some tape, and a marker and some things to cut with. Now, the first thing you're going to do to make this rain gauge is you're going to cut the top off of this bottle. I'm going to show you how I did it. There are different ways you can do it. I took a piece of paper so that I could get a nice straight line around the outside of my bottle. That piece of paper all the way around keeps it nice and even as we cut around the top of the bottle. Now I'm just freehanding here now that I've got the line started on each side to join. It doesn't have to be perfect, but close. It helps just for looks to keep it nice and even and straight. Now I'm using for cutting an X-Acto knife to get started. You may want to ask an adult to help you with this part of it to cut into the bottle because it can be a little tricky to cut into plastic. So I'm going to lay the bottle on its side and I'm going to poke the X-Acto knife through the bottle right on the line that I've created. And then I'm going to take my scissors and get into that opening and start cutting neatly around that line. The next thing you're going to want to do, it's partly for aesthetics, so you don't have to do it. Aesthetics means how something looks, is we're going to put tape around the two edges of the bottle. And I'm just going to do a little bit of that. I'm not going to do it fully to save time because you can see on this one that I went all the way around with the tape, but I'm going to show you a little bit so you can get an idea. So you're going to take off a piece of tape. This one may not fully make it around the bottle, but then you just pull another piece of tape off and you lay the tape about halfway around the edge of the bottle with half of the tape sticking up over the edge because then what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it over as you go around and as you can see you'd need to keep going to get the full amount of tape so you'll tape all around the top of the bottom part and all around the top of the funnel part that's going to catch the rain so you're going to do that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the gravel it's going to help create a base in the bottom of your rain gauge to hold it down. You're going to lay the gravel. Now this gravel I found worked all right, but I found the stones were a little bit large. So if you can find smaller gravel, maybe the stuff you put at the bottom of some fish tanks, that might work a little better to create a nice, smooth, even base. So at the very bottom, I have gravel. Now the next thing you need is a layer of something that's going to keep the water from penetrating. So what I saw recommended was a Play-Doh or a Plasticine. In this one, I put Plasticine along the bottom in a nice level flat layer. And in this one, I'm going to put a layer of Play-Doh. So you're going to flatten the Play-Doh out into a nice round ball and you're going to Get it nice and smooth and flat and you can use the top to see that it's going to fit into the bottom you can pat it out to see that it's about the right size all right so now that i've got it nice and flat from pushing on the table i'm going to take that flat part and lay it on the top and i'm going to put it 
all along the bottom here. It's a little tricky to fit it in, but you just work with it till it gets there. And this is what I mean about the smaller gravel. The bigger gravel can makes it, you have to work a little harder to get a smooth, flat layer on the top. And if your hand's not quite big enough to reach down to the bottom, you might wanna ask for some help. Now this is gonna help keep the rain from going and penetrating underneath because this will act like a waterproof barrier. So you wanna get it nice and smooth. So then you have a nice smooth flat bottom for the rain to start collecting against. Now you need a way to measure the rain. I used a shorter ruler here. So you could use a longer ruler if that's what you have. This one is a 30 centimeter ruler and it can go above the rain gauge if you want. It's not gonna hurt anything. You're still gonna be able to measure. This one happened to be a 15 centimeter ruler to measure with. And you're just going to, again, take your tape, however you want to use it. I happened on this one, I just decided that I liked it going all the way down. You can even choose a different color of tape or scotch tape, whatever works for you. And you're going to get the zero point of the ruler up beside the bottom of your plasticine, not the bottom of the bottle, because you want to start measuring from where the rain is going to catch. So it's going to go there, and you're going to take this piece of tape. Oh, that one didn't work. I'm going to get a different piece of tape. You might just start with a couple of short pieces of tape just to get it sort of set on there, and then you can worry about making it look nicer. So you get the tape going down this side. Oh, and now you can see why you need the tape on the other side. Okay, and this one, I didn't, I'm not taking my time, I'm just showing you. So this one will go like that, and you can make sure the tape's on nice and secure, check that the zero is right where the plasticine goes, and then you're going to take the top part of your bottle that's going to catch the rain, and you're just gonna set it in like that. And then the rain, when it comes down, will land in here, and it will funnel through the bottom, and collect in the bottom of your bottle. And you'll be able to come out and look at your ruler and you can see, oh, was there a centimeter of rain? Was there two centimeters of rain? How much rain came down today? And you can see how well your garden's doing and how much extra watering you might need to do to keep your plants in your yard alive. Well, I hope this spring you have some fun making a rain gauge and that you enjoy yourself outside in the garden with all the wonders of nature, including the beautiful rain that comes down. Have a good day.